Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel, and this is how I modified my Black Series Kylo Ren helmet. We would be honored if you would join us. Okay, so we're looking at a helmet mod. I have my Black Series helmet, and originally I wasn't going to do this, but I think I've changed my mind, and uh, I have my brother to thank for that. I was like, I don't think I can do this. And he's like, oh yeah, you can do it. So uh, you can see the seam that's on the helmet. This section, or these two sections, they just pull apart. Like if you just use a little bit of force, uh, you can pull apart. And then there's the inside battery housing and all the electronics up here. That looks like this, okay? That looks like this and it just comes out with like six screws. Okay, you can see all the screw holes right there. You just send your screwdriver down into the belly of it and you can pull this big fatty thing out. And I just ripped it all out. Just ripped all these guts out. And really this creates a lot more space in the helmet, especially with an adult size head, right? You really want that out. Uh, there's also a little speaker in the front. Uh, pulled that out as well. And I'll keep going. I don't have everything out yet, but I wanted to show you the basics. So this is the battery. Uh, housing at the top and saving that because we are going to put that back in. We're going to bondo that. This is all some of the other stuff that took out. And of course, this is the stuff I'm getting rid of. I'm going to hold off on throwing anything away until I'm done with the mod. Um, I'm going to save it just in case, right? I don't want to lose anything just in case I might need it. I don't know if I'm going to need the, the head strap. I probably won't. I'll go back through it, but I've ordered all my parts that I'm going to need off of Amazon. And so uh, get ready kids, we're gonna make us a Kylo Ren helmet. Here's a real quick shot of what it looks like in the inside. Notice I've left the chrome part in there and the visor and the nose piece. I'll be taking that out a little later, but just for now, until I'm ready to start modding, I've left some of the important pieces inside just so it can sit on my shelf for a little bit longer. Okay, so all my arts and crafts materials are coming today from Amazon. I wanted to show you what was left of the mask after taking it apart and showing you the parts that I'm obviously keeping and what it looks like when it's all apart. So the rear here, this is the back half of the helmet, okay? And as you can see, there's really nothing on the inside. The front half of the helmet looks like that. It's really gutted when you take the faceplate out. I want to show you the back side because I am keeping this piece right here. So the nose piece and the piece that goes over the mouth, I left it in because where that hits my nose is actually perfect. And so I'm not going to just add foam back in when I've got a perfectly good molded piece uh, right there. So I'm going to leave that in, but there was a wire right on the top. And what I did was I cut the wire and then I smushed it into the housing with a thin paper clip. So wire is gone. The silver mask plate in the front is actually two pieces. So most of this is silver, except for those four black stripes at the top. All the black that's at the bottom comes from this piece here. So we'll leave this piece black. We won't touch it. We won't do anything to it. And this one, we will try to uh, put some Sculpey in those holes and fill those speaker holes at the top so that it's one uh, solid unit. And then this is the visor and we'll do our best to make it a little darker because right now it's really easy to see through. And then these are our three extra pieces, the battery housing and the two side buttons. And so the first step is gonna be gluing this together along with these three things, making a solid uh, unit helmet. And then we'll start filling in all the cracks. All right, so this is with one coat of resin. And as you can see, I only did the back half, okay? But that, that seam really disappeared. 
and I think it's going to look even better once we put a coat of paint on it. And as you can see, the resin kind of made this drippy, like, stipple textured effect, which I think is great because Kylo's helmet uh, is not smooth, right? His, his helmet is very rough and, uh, well, not rough to the touch, but it's very, like, bumpy and homemade looking. And so this is, like I said, what it looks like after the resin is applied. And now I'm going to start putting the black mat uh, on the inside and the outside. So this is the mask fully painted and with all the holes filled. Notice I filled the air holes that were on the sides there. There were some like breathe holes for little kids and then completely sanded it. Uh, it's got the black primer on the inside and the outside and the inside is so that the foam pads I bought will stick to it. But other than the silver detailing, uh, I think I am done with this outside helmet. Okay, the big day is finally here. My mask is done and I'm wearing my cowl. <laughs> I look silly, I look ridiculous, but uh, it's part of the process of covering up and it's not as, it's not as cool to see the mask without seeing uh, the neck covered up too, just so that you gotta get a big picture. So it's so over here sitting on the shelf and just as a really quick uh, recap, the seam here is gone on both sides, right? And the battery compartment has been covered up as well. And then certain uh, pieces of battle damage have been repainted. All the guts were taken out of the inside, including electronics. And you can kind of see some of the padding that I put in place just to kind of keep it on there. Uh, speaker holes were covered in, so they're all covered up and then repainted black. Uh, a little bit of shoe polish weathering over the front uh, visor now has uh, fabric in front of it and then these little holes here also have fabric so I'll show you what it looks like with it on my head but I never get to see what it looks like because I always have to take my glasses off which is it's kind of lame I can never I can never see uh, what I look like so just make sure my my pads are in there all right so this is what it looks like from the front okay and notice that I can turn my head like quickly, right? Sometimes when your mask is too loose and you turn your head fast, the mask kind of delays and moves slower. But with the padding inside, um, I can get good movement. And this is what it looks like from my profile. This is what my other profile looks like. So this is why you want to cover up, make sure it's all blacked out. This is what the backside looks like. So, really impressed, really happy with it, but it sounds even better with the voice changer. So this is what it sounds like with the voice changer. Bring me Skywalker and those plans. Black droid. Grandfather, I will finish what you started. Don't be afraid. I feel it too. All right, and so that is the end and uh, I realized I didn't film every single step right but uh, you got the you got the overview and I'm happy to answer any questions so if you post a question down below I'll see it and uh, I'll help out or answer as best I can thanks for watching guys thanks for being a part of this journey may the force be with you I'll see you next time bye